Houston is a, is a big area for uh, oil production here and uh, wherever you go I mean miles and miles and miles away from uh, downtown Houston you see all these refineries and petroleum industries and pipes and, and, and flames and, and, and stuff everything everywhere so I just want to give you a little glimpse of what's going on here and actually drive down this uh, they call it the, the cutoff road here and uh, it, it's a couple of miles up here and it will give you like a, uh, <laughs> it will give you a, a, a view of what's going on here in the area it, it's it's a massive industry lots and lots and lots of money in in this industry here so let's just pass if we can pass you see the train is coming here so let's just pass the track and, and go up a couple of miles uh, and then move on to something else but it can be interesting to have seen a little bit of that so uh, let's do it guys i will just drive slowly up the street lots of trains here you can kind of see a lot of uh, wagons and train sets to to the left and these uh, big uh, refineries uh, are pretty much everywhere as you can see so the infrastructure here is is like just massive and my, my question here would be like who is owning all this I mean is it one company or do we have a lot of independent uh, companies here and the pipes are crossing uh, crossing the street here and they are dug down in the under the grass it's like everywhere it's kind of unreal in many ways <laughs> but when people uh, think on um, Houston they kind of think of oil uh, I think and when you think on uh, Dallas same thing and cattle you know longhorn cattle store a lot of oil here I'm guessing and it, it has been like this for for a very long time I think I, I would say the entire 1900s up to now in 120 years probably I'm not sure exactly when they started to kind of pump up oil and refine it and also if you take the freeway, the, the 10 freeway into Louisiana, which is not too far from here, same thing. It's like the, the entire coastline is just full of these uh, refineries. And they employ a lot of people. There are trucks, cars everywhere in the area here. And the big 18-wheelers, they are coming in, you know, early mornings with cargo. And um, I, I don't even know what they bring in and out, but it's a lot of equipment, pipes, tools, things like that, I guess. Stuff they need in order to expand or fix the, uh, you know, broken equipment. And you have a huge plant right here. And look, look at all these trucks they have here. And I'm coming up to um, to the main road here. So this was just a, a cutoff road pretty much a, a mile and a half or a couple of miles long I think I'm back at the uh, Independence Parkway here there you have it uh, this is how it looks like in uh, you know many parts uh, of the area down here uh, it goes all the way down to uh, Galveston uh, because if you go in that direction here you basically have the river and then you have the bay and then you have the ocean 
down there. So it's a, it's a massive industry, um, much bigger than I expected, but uh, I guess this is Texas style. Everything is big and massive here. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little crazy tour here um, in the cut, cut off road here. So um, I go to, uh, to another more interesting place, maybe. I mean, this is kind of a dirty place, so um, see you later.